Good evening, everybody. This is I'm Not James, and you are. When last we left our intrepid heroes, they had forged a plan to go save Picky from whatever is keeping him at the meteorite. So let's get to it. Earthbound, much like, oh, Luffy 2, Deltarune, Undertale, a whole host of video games, has the monsters right here on the screen. We get a blue swirl. That's neutral. I can get a green swirl and get an automatic turn, or they can get a red swirl and get an automatic turn on me. Spiteful Crow is the most dangerous of the monsters that we can encounter in this first area. As we saw from that first round, the Spiteful Crow is very fast, and he can dodge very easily. HP, maybe 24. And that's our first battle. Three experience. Spiteful Crows will always, always leave cookies. Every monster, or rather every monster that drops something has an X out of 128 chance to drop that thing. All the way down from 1 to 128 to 128 out of 128, which those of you who know percentages know is 100%. I believe it is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64 out of 128. Anyway, I'll be talking more about that later on. Go ahead and tackle this snake. Coil snake, pretty simple enemy. Not as fast as the smash! Smash attacks are the critical attacks of this, uh, well, game series, basically. Uh, only certain attacks can cause smash attacks. I'll explain that later when I get to it as well. Mass gains one experience. I believe he'll gain a level off this. Because to gain the first level, it takes four experience. Pretty good level. Life up alpha. Basically the cure spell of this series. You can expect life up alpha to restore about 100 HP. But rather than waste that or any of my food, I'm just going to go back to Mom. How can you not like Hot Pot? It's delicious. Especially the soup at the end. Seriously, if you've never had Hot Pot, go get some. Alright, so I suppose we should talk about battle here a bit. As you see, we've got Bash, which is the attack. PSI. Right now, all he has is life up. He will gain more, of course. Good, it's just your item. Defend is just like it sounds like. It, I believe it decreases damage by half. And I believe it, it will work regardless of whether you go first or not. Auto fight, you just press this and you will auto battle. I think there is some logic that will make your uh, characters heal one another, if need be. So it's actually pretty elaborate. It's not just like attacking constantly. Run away is just what it sounds like. Run away. Each monster has its own likelihood of you running away from it. If you are lucky enough to get a back attack on them and get the extra turn, you can run away without incident. Let's go ahead and bash. Loud piercing howl. A lot of monsters will have turns where they do nothing. 
Uh, you can tell if they're not going to do anything if the flash is kind of black. Or grayish black, I guess. A white flash means they're about to attack you. Mild piercing how? Smash! King has a few... So, you, you've seen it in action. Pokey sucks. He will never do any damage to the opponent. He has a wide variety of abilities. I'm just gonna do auto fight. He has a wide variety of abilities that just don't do anything. King can bite, which is a weak attack. He can charge forward, which is a stronger attack. I think growling and lunging forward and charging forward are roughly the same. Or you can just do a loud piercing howl or bark. I'm gonna look at my next level. Status will uh, give you your level, your offense, speed, guts, what have you. Five experience for the next level. Probably want to try and get to at least level four. But, well, it won't really help you against the boss. Let's gonna do auto fight again. Dogs give four experience, crows give three, and a cookie. Snakes give one. So since I need one experience to gain level, fighting a snake is worth it. But if you were looking to level grind, go for the dogs and crows. Vitality went up by one, and IQ went up by one. Now, when those numbers go up, you're going to get more HP and more PP. See, 14 HP. 3 PP. Not bad. Another snake. Not a lot to talk about with these monsters. There are far more interesting monsters later on. And now Ness is strong enough to where with an, with an assist from King, he starts one-shotting stuff. I'm actually fine at level 3. 26. of a coward, even though he went up there with you. Here's the meteorite. Still lots of little fires. The meteorite's very hot. I can't help but think that if this meteorite really landed this close to Ness, like, at the very minimum, he would be deaf from the noise. Maybe he would no longer be with us. Okay, so we can still see a dog there. What some speedrunners will do, they will make it so that there is a, an enemy. That enemy can knock you out in a minute and it will just warp you back home, skipping a boss battle. But I'm going to show you the boss battle because that's just how I roll. Picky is just castigating his older brother. Sounds like a B. Doesn't matter what you say, it's going to progress the exact same. If you have a second controller plugged into the game, that second controller can manipulate the direction of that light beam. And that is about the only thing it can do. He's not a bee. In Japanese, he is a rhinoceros beetle. He's just not a bee in this. But 
Maybe you hear this music playing. They were talking about Destiny and whatnot. Aegis, uh, I believe in Japanese. I could be wrong. I need to look this up. I will issue a correction if I'm wrong, but I believe in Japanese. Gigas is not named until way later in the game. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Uh, alright. I don't remember there being a Triforce of Friendship, but sure. Three boys and a girl. We got three boys right here. One of them is completely useless, and I have not assessed the fighting ability of the other. Let's do it. Let's go get ourselves a girl. Yeah, sure. I listened. That's the big party member music. You know, Buzz Buzz is far more important. Alright, I believe that dog will despawn. Okay, good, the dog despawned. Let's talk to this guy. Something to tell you and only you. Oh yeah, sure, I'll get right on that. Actually, uh, there is a fan game, well not really a fan game, a fan retranslation of this where before you do anything else, you do have to go visit him. So I'll probably do that, just to show you the narrative. Anyway, the monsters have all cleared out. Let's just go back home. Darman Jr. Even if you were near death, you don't have anything to worry about. I'm gonna bash anyway, though, because just why not? Buzz Buzz is trying Psy Shield Sigma. I could explain how shields work. Oh, two whole HP. I can explain to you how shields work, but I won't. All you need to, until I, until later when I can use them. All you need to know is that he can't hurt me. If you wanted to. And there is no reason you'd want to do this besides just, I don't know, saying you did it. Grind Ness up to level 12, he will gain Shield Alpha. Buzz Buzz will also go, will always go first. So... Buzz Buzz uh, fires off a Psy Shield. You shoot off your uh, sh a physical shield, which overrides it. And yes, Starman Jr.'s fire magic will kill you. Anyway, yeah, 70 damage. We're not touching that for a bit. We'll also get PSI Fire, or Psy Fire, later. I just don't use them all that much when I play. They have their value, but I just don't use them too much. Because battles don't really run that long in this game. At least Darman Jr. has 200 HP. But again, you really have to try to lose. Buzz Buzz can also charge forward, which does about 150 damage. This is an unusually long Starman Jr. battle. And as you see, the text is going very fast, which we really appreciate. There we are. Starman Jr. was defeated.
16 experience means he's only got 10 left for the next level. A rare instance of a Nintendo game in the 90s using the word kill. Kind of interesting. And this is a first party game, so you'd think they'd, I don't know, keep a closer eye on that. To go over to Pokey's house here. Let's go ahead and talk to the. Well, I'll talk to the mom first. Sam Hill, just a old-timey, old-fashioned way of kind of a minced oath. Basically, just where the hell have you been? Japanese, it was made more clear that he spanked them. Uh, they toned it down a bit in this release. That's just the yelling noise. Happy if you left sometime soon. In the Japanese, he says something more like a gajillion dollars. I mean, we've, again, if you know people like this, you know exactly what sort of deal is going on. Like, maybe, maybe he loaned Ness's dad 20 bucks and he is gonna ride that favor till he is in the ground. Dad's name is uh, Aloysius. In the Japanese, it's Anbarami, which is like an oily mincemeat. Mother's name is Lardna. I don't know if it's because it has the name Lard in it, or if it's a take on the dish Lardna, because I want to say there's a dish that's named that. Anyway, you've, you've probably met people like them before. Don't do it, Buzz Buzz. Uh, in the Japanese, she said, die and go to hell. So he's just going to give you your next task. Looking for giant step near Onet. We can't quite go there yet. We're going to have to do a couple things. No, I don't want to hear this story again. Alright, so the Soundstone. You can actually play the game without getting it into your inventory. If you find enough crows to jam-pack your inventory full of cookies, then he will just give it to Tracy. The caveat of this is that you can never, ever, ever speak to Tracy. Maybe you can speak to her, but you can never call S Cargo Express. Because they will immediately be like, Alright, we'll ship you out the Soundstone. So just a fun little tidbit. It's way more work than you get out of it, but again, just another interesting little factoid about this game. And we got the Soundstone. We have been tasked with our next mission. So next time, we will begin on the journey to Giant Step. I'm not James, and you are. Now get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs>